Welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine and today I'm going to help you improve your TOEFL or IELTS score. Believe me, your struggle is real. Many people suffer because they don't get their desired score. So I'm here to help you. The first thing we do is ask the big question. Why is your score so low? Is it because you don't have the required level? Or is it that your level doesn't reflect on the exam? To answer this question, we need to know your English level. In the description, I'm leaving some links for you to take placement tests of English. And the more you take, the more accurate your level will be. I'll also leave some tables for you to compare your, your level to the CEFR levels and the TOEFL or IELTS score you need. So when you answer to this question, you will know if your level is just right or not. If your level is not there yet, it's not within the range of your desired score, then what you need to know is to seriously study English considering that you want to take an academic test like IELTS or TOEFL. For that, please, go to this video. It's very important to have the, the level of English you need. You cannot trick the exam into a level you don't have. There are magical tricks to get a score if you don't have the level you need. If your level is within your desired score, but you're not getting your desired score, that means that your level is not reflecting on your score. And I'm going to help you with that. There are two things that can help you a lot. The first thing is to know the exam. You can have a C2, very advanced level of English, and not get a, a score that reflects that because you don't know the exam. If you don't know what's coming, then you are more likely to fail. So, my advice to you is to get to know the exam. Not just how many parts it has, but what are those parts? Uh, what the questions are in each of those parts? What you're required to do um, in listening and reading? What, kind of, what kinds of questions you get? And the tips and tricks of how to answer each of them. Really knowing the exam, will increase your score if your level is the one that you need. But maybe you've taken the exam many times and you already know the exam, you know the questions, but still your score doesn't improve. Then there are four skills that will be helpful, very helpful to you. The first one has to do with vocabulary. I know you're learning your vocabulary, but a problem I've seen is that many students struggle with word choice. That is, you know the root word, but you don't know exactly what word in the same family to use. For example, if we want to talk about happiness, I will say the word happiness when I know that I need to use it as a noun. And if I need to use it as an adverb, I'll say happily. So when you learn a new word, don't just focus on that word, but on the other words of the same word family. You can check this video to help you with that. The second thing, your abilities for paraphrasing and summarizing. These exams are all about paraphrasing and summarizing. That is, you have to say the same thing in your own words, or you have to say the same thing in short. So you need lots of practice with that. That's going to be helpful for the exam. And you can find that here. Then there's another skill, speed reading. Many people have problems in reading because they don't read fast enough. So practicing on improving the speed of your reading can be of much help as well. Finally, a skill that's gonna prove useful for this exam and your whole academic life is note-taking. 
I believe that's an underestimated skill that you should consider. I'm sure there are many more skills that could help you, but I think these four are the ones that can really make a difference for you if you're not improving on your score. Let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching. Follow me on social media and I hope to see you soon.